Saying in general, God himself has already proven himself. In what way? Just by, just by creation and by Jesus Christ himself. Because at the heart of it, an atheist, an atheist, it's not the lack of there being enough evidence for God. It's the lack of their wanting to believe that there is a God. For most or many, I can't many. say all. But Look, there are some people that really struggle with belief in God for whatever reason, and I can't judge their heart. I have asked many atheists, if it were true, would you become a Christian? And they say no. So I know it's not just a head issue. It is a heart issue. They don't want it to be true. Uh, but look, God gives us, it's been put this way, God gives us enough evidence to help us know beyond a reasonable doubt, not beyond all doubt, that Christianity is true. But he's left us enough ambiguity to allow us to go our own way if we want to. You can go your own way away from God because that's what a loving being does. In fact, Soren Kierkegaard gave a great illustration of this. He was a Danish philosopher, lived in the 1800s. He said there was a, uh, a prince uh, who, in his jurisdiction, from a distance, saw a beautiful peasant woman, young girl, you know, just of marrying age, who he immediately fell in love with. But he was the prince, and she's a peasant girl, so he goes to his father, and he says, I just fell in love with this girl. How can I make her my queen? And the father said, the only way you can win this girl's hand is if you renounce the throne and go to her as a peasant, as a peer. Because if you go to her with all the chariots, and with the trumpets and with all the fanfare of your office, she may just go with you because she wants to be the queen and she doesn't really love you. You've got to hold back some of your power, in other words, in order to win her over. So what does he do? He renounces the throne. He becomes a peasant. He goes into her village and wins her as a peer. That's what Jesus did for us. He came to earth. He gave up the qualities in his human nature of being God, Philippians chapter 2, and he became a servant to the point where he sacrificed himself to win us to him. As C.S. Lewis famously said, God cannot ravish, he can only woo. He can only give you so much evidence to allow you to make your own free choice, but he is not going to overpower you with his presence because if he did, you wouldn't have the ability to say no. All right. That makes sense. All right. Thank you.